Hello! Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's a new video game which is out now across all major platforms and it's based in a future where there is a divide between humans with robotic arms and legs and various other bits and bobs and those without. Now, the lead character, Adam Jensen, is kind of like this badass covert military agent, a bit like James Bond, but he's got this militarised arm and it's basically a robotic arm and inside it is all sorts of lethal and non-lethal gadgets and weapons and stuff and that is the exact sort of thing which I like to try and recreate. So, taking inspiration from this, I'm going to try and recreate something which goes over my arm, which gives me all sorts of lethal and non-lethal bits and bobs. Yep, I'd say, so the next few videos, that's what we're doing. Let's get on it! Let's get on it! Oh, that's the cut! That's the cut! <laughs> Now there's three gadgets which I'm going to concentrate on. This is Pep's gun, which is kind of like a, a laser bolt, but I'm going to make that kind of like a rocket launcher. Uh, there's the Nano Blade, which is a blade that he can deploy and like stab people up against walls. And then there's like his Tesla gun, which is kind of basically like a taser. Now, in the game obviously, it comes out of his arm, but I'm a real boy, so I can't do that. So we're going to have to make something that goes over. The original idea I thought I'd put it on a tube putting everything around it, but I thought, mm, I'm not sure about that. There's a bit of space under here which possibly could be utilised, which I won't be able to do in this instance, and also, just don't really like the look of it. So, I have a solution! We're going to make like a little chassis raily slippy thing, so I'm going to get a big block of alley like this, machine the middle out, make two rings, and then join it all together with our stuff, which kind of makes like a mainframe chassis thing all in one piece. So, first thing we need to do is make our two rings. Oh. We've been trading places since you got in the car And you're laughing all the way to the station Your parents keep on calling, they don't know where you are It's looking like they need a vacation Kind of a, I don't know what you could call it really. Bit, bit, a bit, a bit. Start that again. Right, so machine my block of alley at. That'll fit over my arm like that. Now, this is going to be two rings uh, separated. I'll part them off eventually. But what I'm going to do first is I've put a little tiny little sort of kind of a scory scratch around the front here. That's like the centre of those rings. And I'm going to drill holes where all the little chassis bits and bolts will need to go. So when I part them, the holes all line up perfectly. Because if I tried to throw them separately, they would not line up. No. There we are, that's them done. Now I've countersunk the uh, other ends because when the fixed in screw heads go through, it means they go in. Nice and flush and they don't stick out, very nice. Next part, I've got some stainless steel rod and I've uh, cut these up into lengths, tap the ends out. These are going to fix in between each one and then we can start setting up our little gadgets and weaponry mechanisms. There we are, that's got that done. Now this is really strong, it's quite rigid, there's no flex in it or anything like that, and it's also quite light. Now the first thing I'm going to concentrate on is rockets. Now Adam Jensen in the game does have a little rocket launcher, it's not quite like this, but of course, you know, this is the first version. So, got a shot out of a multi-shot firework, basically a multi-shot firework, it's just full of these little tubes, so I've took one of them out, it's got a little fuse on the end. And then this is going to sit in there, and then the flick of a switch, it's going to go and then you'll flick a switch again, and then go back down to its kind of statutory position. So if you can imagine, I'm going to do two of them. So as it's on your arm, maybe up like that, flick the switch, and then you'll come around, and there we are. Now, what we need to do is work out the mechanism which is of course going to deploy it. But I can't think of anything It isn't a stupid cliche About girls all fighting my own way Hate to say I can't But something I've been so I haven't been Just tell me when you're ready So I can just get on with it Yeah. 
really well last thing we've got to do we need to light the fireworks somehow that go inside it so we need some little ignition systems built into the end of these tubes and I have a wonderful cunning little plan so basically drilled a few little venti peepee hole things in the end and then got this little bit of nylon which uh, fits in there two screws go to two cables and we're going to use electronic matches to light these uh, little firework rocky things. I've tried a couple of other methods, but it was a little bit inconsistent, so this seems the best way. So there'll be a little wire coming off the end of the firework. You'll wrap that round there. That will fit in the end. This wire will go down to a little battery pack within the arm mount, and then you'll flick a switch on the side, and boom! As I will demonstrate. Right, let's give it a test. Now I've... Uh, took the explosion bit out of this firework so it will it'll shoot it out but it shouldn't go bang at the end of it I think here we go Adam Jensen has his enemy in sight <laughs> and it will go <laughs> like that and I'm gonna put that on my arm <laughs> and there we are twin rocket launchers check Adam Jensen eat your heart out. Now in the next video we're going to add a taser and a ballistic knife. <laughs> yes! But in the meantime check out the game trailer. It is out now. Subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Boom! Or double boom. Yep. Right, I'll get some fresh air in here now. That's pretty cool, man. You know it! 